the greatest gift anyone can ever give you is doubt. Let that be the driving force when in your darkest moments you have that reminder that there are people who don't believe that you can pull this off. Don't make them hurt your feelings. Use them for fuel. Use them for energy. In times of need, put them on the mental roller decks in your mind. And when you don't want to do shit, roll through your brain. Pull up that motherfucker that you need. That person who said you couldn't do something. Use it for energy. Use everything this world has to give you for fuel. That's what made me suffer. That's what allowed the pain to be real and say, this is worth it. That's what woke me up every morning was, I'm going to put myself through this much pain and suffering for a few seconds. That's all it is. A few seconds of joy. It's so worth it, man. Who do you want to be? Why are you here on this planet? You're going to get out of your life what you'll accept. What you think you're worth and what you're going to tolerate is absolutely what you're going to bring into your life and what the outward part of your life is going to look like. What has helped me has been me alone getting my shit together and being accountable for who I'm not and who I want to be. You've got to get tunnel vision to reach your goal. You have to put blinders on and say, I'm laser beam focused on this. The road to success is always under construction. It's very important that you engage in an ongoing process to develop you. Spend more time on yourself than what you've been spending. Many of us never realize our greatness because we become sidetracked by secondary activity. And we find ourselves doing all kinds of things and never ever have time to do those things that we need to do to work on ourselves. And then there goes a second, there goes another second, there goes another second, and we can't stop and hold time. And before you know it, you wake up one day and you're behind in your dreams and your bills. Decide that you're going to take some time to work on you, that you deserve that. You are the star of your show. You are the director. You're writing the script. I let myself sort of feel the pain and the difficulty of being not where I want to be in whatever that area is, whether it's my spirituality, my relationships, my money. I let myself feel that pain. What are the things that are stealing your focus? Who are the people that are stealing your focus? And begin to eliminate these distractions. Get laser focused and obsessed on what you want. Be starving and hungry to get it. Be desperate to get it. The combination of desperation and hunger with laser focus over an extended period of time is the formula to be great at something. Eliminate distractions. Eliminate the things that steal your laser focused on it, your research on it, your obsession on it. I want to have that long-term goal so embedded in my mind that I never lose sight of it, ever. And those little tasks and projects and short-term goals that you tackle, they need to lead toward winning the long war. You have to work on yourself. You have to have an unstoppable attitude and no excuse is acceptable and you've got to make it a priority a non-negotiable in your life and hold a constant vision of what it is you want to achieve see it accomplished and go all out find a way to win in spite of the setbacks in spite of the disappointments in spite of your failures you will fail your way to success. As life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. Those experiences, they challenge you to go to that next level and continue to move forward in your life doing new and exciting things that eye has not seen, ear has not heard. When you live a hard-centered life deciding that you're going to live a life that will outlive you. You're going to live a life that counts, a life that will build a legacy. 
You will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. I didn't quit. I didn't fall back. I prayed. But I continued to fail and fail and fail. But it didn't matter because you know what? There's an old saying. You hang around the barbershop long enough, sooner or later you're going to get a haircut. So you will catch a break, and I did catch a break. Let me tell you something. You know how you get good at business? You worry about your own shit. You know how you get good at your job? You worry about your own shit. You know how you get in good shape? You don't worry about how many reps the other in the gym is doing. You worry about how many reps you're doing. Far too many of you worry way too much about other people and not enough about your f***ing selves. That's how you become a leader. When you spend your energy focusing on what other people are doing instead of executing on your own opportunities. Are setting yourself up to fail time and time and time again sometimes we lose track of those long-term goals and you you look up in in six weeks or in six months or in six years and you've made no progress none you never moved you might even be further from your goal than you were why why did you let that happen it's because you lost sight of that long-term goal and at some point after you lose sight of that goal and years have gone by you think to yourself maybe i can't maybe i can't do it and so you give up you settle for mediocrity, you settle for average, you settle for, oh well, but no, no, don't do that. Embed that long-term goal in your mind, burn it into your soul, think about it, and write about it, and talk about it, and hang it up on your wall, but most important, do something about it something about it every day every day 
do something that moves you toward that goal, that keeps the goal alive and in sight and in focus. However, however small or insignificant that step might seem, take Make it happen because that goal isn't going to achieve itself. It's all on you. Yeah.